Hello you wonderful people! Today I'm reviewing this Van Gogh um, set. The Van Gogh watercolors are made by Royal Tones and it was actually a surprise that I got them. They're student grade watercolors and they come in this wonderful wooden set with a plastic mixing palette that is attached to the lid. It's a set of um, 12 colors. It comes also with two brushes. These are the Van Gogh um, brushes and they're synthetic. In the video they still have sizing on them, but um, I will wash that out and I will use those for painting today. Sorry if you can hear a background, I have to keep the windows open because it's very hot. It's supposed to rain right now and I'm hoping for a little bit of fresh air. Um, obviously my neighbors have some fun out there. Um, so the colors that come in the set are Chinese white, permanent le lemon yellow, Azo yellow medium, permanent red light, metal lake, lake deep, permanent green viridian, cobalt blue, ultramarine, which is a mix of PB29 and PW6. Um, let me check. Yeah, PB29 and PW6. Ultramarine Deep, which is pure PB29, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna and Paints Grey. Some of the colors are actually um, single pigments and you will see this in the mixing, not in the mixing traffic, but in the swatching sheet where I also have noted uh, the pigment numbers that you can see right now. Here you can see me swatching them out. I swatched them directly from the tube. Um, as you've seen me squeezing them out on the palette earlier. They are pretty nice. The Azo Yellow uh, medium is feels a little bit chalky to me, but I think it's okay. The other colors were very nice and were very smooth. Um, I swatched with the bigger of those brushes where I had the problem that it doesn't hold so much water as I'm used to. That's why the um, swatches aren't as uniform as <laughs> I used them to be and with other colors. But I wanted to try out the brushes too. The brushes stained quite a bit during the swatching process, but what I like about them is that they kept their point and have a nice spring to them. Actually, they're pretty, they are pretty nice to paint details, I think, um, if you don't need a lot of water to hold them, but that's not how I paint usually. Also, I'm sorry that the video has a little bit of a blue tint to it. Um, it must be the light that I had here. For the review I decided to paint a, a, red, a red kite or a red melon. It's a bird that obviously lives in the forest close by. They are endangered in Germany. There are less than 5,000 um, of them living here in the country. Uh, in general, they are vulnerable to extinction. Um, here you can see me watering this, uh, the paper to make um, some background. I have to admit that I'm. I have to admit that I messed quite a lot with this bird. And it's all my fault. The problem was in the sketching process. I think I subconsciously wanted to fit the whole bird um, into this 
painting and needed to paint it a lot smaller. That's why it's so squished and I also had other mistakes. That's why I see a fish shape with wings in there and not the bird as pretty as it could be. I might repaint this one to um, just have an accurate, accurate look of this bird. I have to admit that I really like the burnt sienna that comes in the set. It's lovely, it's an orangey tone, reddish brown that I really really like. And it was also very nice to tone it down with, with uh, the PB29, with the Ultramarine Deep, to have these nice dark values. I think it started to rain. There's this one clip where you can see how I showed the already stained brushes. I think there were several problems when I tried this paint. It's also very hot so the paper dries up very quickly. It's difficult to um, paint as loose a as I'm used to painting, but they performed very well. The paints are pigmented, they flow quite nicely. The only problem I had with them that they lifted so easily, which can be a good thing, but I'm not used to paints that lift that easily. So layering was a little bit difficult with them. Although I used the lifting properties, in the end to lighten up some areas. In the end, I liked the painting with the set a lot. Um, it, the color palette is quite nice. It inspired me to make some illustration work, which I will do with that. The light fastness rating that the company gives us is decent. It's all one or two. Um, like it's supposed to be, the colors are supposed to be light fast, they are made with real pigments, which is always nice, they give us the information and they use decent pigments in a decent amount for the paints. I think if this is, this would be a set for a beginner, this would be an awesome set, to be honest. 
I would give it to anyone who wants to start out with watercolors. It's nice that there are tubes there. The paints dry up in the palette nicely and pretty fast. They stay put. It's not flowy. Um, at the same time, they're re wet very easily because I, I flat them um, dry overnight in the palette and had no issues working from the palette again in the morning. I like this box a lot. Like, um, I think that I will use this for other paints maybe. It's a little bit sad that this palette that comes with the set, um, this mixing palette or the mix mixing tray is made from plastic. It beats up. But as I know that with the time this roughens up a little and the water or the paint stops um, pulling up or beading on the surface. The brushes are nice for detailed work. If you like to paint loosely you may want to have other brushes which can hold more water. But it's also something that a beginner has yet to develop, has yet to find out. So when trying watercolors it's definitely a set that is nice to have. I started out with Cotman's and I think I would have preferred these, to be honest. Although I like my Cotman's a lot. <laughs> So, I'm sorry that you had to watch me paint uh, the Milan where I messed up a lot. Um, there you see that it's important to properly sketch out the paintings, which I tried to, but I still made mistakes and I see them and I can't unsee them. Um, so, I'll try to make better um, next painting. Um, as always, all the paints that I swatched and that I review um, in the past and also in the future will be swatched and added to the database of the and tested for live fasteners in the near future. So these ones are already hanging up on the window that I've shown you on Instagram and also in my last video and in only four months you will see the results in the database too so i hope you have a great time i wish you a creative day and i hope to see you soon bye